Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Sun in the 6th house. So this doesn't matter what your zodiac sign is. You could be a Taurus Sun, you could be an Aquarius Sun or any other sign of the zodiac. Uh, but this has more to do with the actual house in which your Sun sign is placed. So today we're going to talk about Sun in the 6th house, what that looks like, what uh, expression it finds itself in and a lot of things like that. So before I get started with the rest of the video, I wanted to let you guys know that I do natal chart readings. So I look at your birth chart, I look at the different energies playing out in your birth chart and I kind of decipher what kind of challenges you may be facing in your life and I give you an action plan, a recommendation plan that you can use to move forward in your life through these challenges. And I also do sinistry chart readings. So if you are already in a relationship or if you want to get into one and you want to know what uh, what the relationship is going to be like you can contact me for a sinistry chart reading and I also do tarot card reading So you can ask me questions related to any aspect of your life whether that's career money finance uh, Love or any other aspect and I'll do uh, a tarot card reading for you as well So to drop me a message for any of these readings just contact me on my facebook page That's facebook.com slash venusians corp and you can also drop me an email at astrolock111 at gmail.com and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Both the links are in the description box so you can contact me uh, through any of these channels. So let's get started. Today we're talking about sun in the sixth house. What does that mean? What does that look, look like for you? So the sun represents vitality. The sun represents confidence. The sun is about our ego, our sense of self, the way we relate to ourselves, you know. So it is our identity. It is our sense of self. Uh, the sixth house represents uh, the everyday routine that we indulge in. Uh, you know, so our daily habits, our chores, the routines, uh, the, the mundane stuff of every day, that is the sixth house. The sixth house also rules enemies. <laughs> That's not to scare you, but you know, it does rule enemies. Um, and the sixth house also rules small pets and animals. So when we combine these two together, so the sun in the sixth house, your sense of self may be very strongly connected to having a daily routine. So you may feel important, you may feel valued, you may feel whole when you have a nice steady routine going on in your life. So this is not like a sun in 10th house kind of a situation where it's more about ambition and workaholism. That's more 10th house because 10th house rules career. 6th house is more like the everyday uh, things that we need to get done. That's why it rules chores. That's why it rules, you know, everyday habits and routines. So when you've got the sun in the sixth house, for you to feel valued, because the sun is our sense of self and identity and value, for you to feel valued, it's really important for you to have a daily routine. Uh, that can be as simple as creating a schedule that I'm going to wake up at this time, I'm going to have my breakfast at this time. If you are in, you know, if you are a three or four meal person, um, or if you're if you are like a one meal a day kind of person, I don't know what your individual preference is. There's no way for me to know that. But the sixth house represents uh, your everyday routine, like you know uh the daily habits so for you to feel valued and important <laughs> sorry uh for you to feel valued and important it's really important that you create a schedule so if you struggle with that like if you have for example pisces in the sixth house pisces is not about daily routine virgo is about daily routine because virgo is about structure is about having having that framework <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry guys i don't know why i kept cracking up there uh, but if you've got pisces for example in the sixth house pisces uh, is not like that you know it's going to be more like a dreamy spiritual energy you don't like structure you don't like um you know too much of a framework you like to go with the flow because it's a mutable sign um but if you've got sun in the sixth house, for you to feel really valued and important, it's important that you have that daily schedule. So you write everything down. Maybe as simple as, like I said, creating a schedule, wake up at this time, have your meals at this time, work out at this time. And you know, just the nitty gritty everyday stuff, it's going to help you create a structure in your life. Um, 
you're probably the kind of person who likes to create to-do lists because that's a very Virgoan thing. The sixth house is ruled by Virgo traditionally and Virgo likes structure, Virgo likes to um, have a plan, it's an earth sign. So um, you're, you're probably, the, because you've got the sun in the sixth house, you're probably the kind of person who likes to have that structure. You may not like unpredictability too much, even though Virgo is a mutable sign, it is an earth sign, so you, you may be the kind of person who likes to know where they're headed, who likes to plan their day, you know. Uh, so if somebody has an unexpected schedule and tells you, like, like for example, if, they, if your friend calls you up and says, hey, let's go out at this time, you know, or let's go out and, and meet somewhere, you may be thrown off balance because you may be the kind of person who likes to know in advance uh, and plan your week ahead, plan your day ahead. So you may not like unexpected surprises that much. But of course, it depends on the whole chart. You could have Sagittarius in the sixth house and Sagittarius is very much about spontaneity and like, you know, going with the flow and let's, let's do this kind of energy. Uh, so it depends on the whole chart. But just if we are just looking at sun in the sixth house, which is what this video is about, you may not be very comfortable with unexpected changes that throw you off your schedule. Schedule is very important to you because that kind of keeps you centered, that keeps you balanced and uh, grounded and centered, you know, in your energy. Um, the sixth house also rules small animals and pets. So you may have a pet if you do. Uh, that's wonderful. Uh, it's lovely to have pets in the house. Uh, if you don't, you may be very drawn to animals in general, like you may have this very strong affinity with animals. You may love connecting with them. You may love having them around. Um, just a very strong connection with animals, especially small animals. You know, that's what the sixth house rules. Um, the, sixth house, the sixth house is also about enemies. So like I said before in this video, it's not to scare you or anything like that. Uh, basically what this means is um, the way this can turn out in your life or the way this can show up in your life is whenever you try to express your authentic self, which is what the sun is, you know, our core self, um, you may feel like people don't really take it very well. Uh, what I mean by that is you may feel like you have to put a lid on your authenticity a lot of the times because you, you may feel like when you try to express yourself or when you try to show your authentic side to people, um, they may be secretly jealous of you. That's why the sixth house rules enemies because it's it's secret jealousy uh, from people that you thought were were you on your side. So when I say enemies, it's not really in that traditional sense. You know, it's not outright. You won't be able to see who these enemies are. It's very it's mostly hidden enemies. So these may be people who don't like it when you try to express your authentic self when you try to show them who you really are. Uh, these may be people who want you to stay in a particular ideal that they have for you. And this is again speaking to that Pisces axis because you know when we look at Virgo and Pisces, these are the two opposite signs in the axis. And the reason I bring, out, uh, bring up Virgo and Pisces is because the sixth house is ruled by Virgo traditionally. And when we look at the opposite sign, which is the kind of the shadow aspect of the sixth house, Pisces energy generally tends to idealize people in their life, uh, their partners or people they're close to. So they have this kind of a fantasy image of someone and they want to just keep them there. That is that whole Neptunian influence, you know. So when that gets shattered, when that person says that, no, this is not who I really am. And when that person tries to show their authentic self, then Pisces has a problem with that because they don't like that fantasy being shattered, you know. That's not to say, this is kind of a stereotype of Pisces, I would, I would like to add that, but then um, this is quite a very strong Neptunian um, energy. So when, so that's why when I said the sixth house is the house of hidden enemies, this could be one of the ways in which this energy plays out, where when you, whenever you try to express yourself and who you are as a person, according to your sun sign, like for example, you could even be a Gemini sun or Pisces sun or any, any zodiac sign, but in the sixth house, whenever you try to express that side of you, that authentic core self, you're gonna find that people around you somehow say that, no, but that's not you, you know, that kind of energy you're gonna get from them that, 
that's not what we thought you were and um, they're going to try to put you in that box, in that zone that they already had in mind for you. So you may sometimes struggle with that. You may sometimes struggle with breaking out of the mold and letting your true self shine because you feel like whenever you do that, you face this kind of not really resistance because it's not an open resistance. This is a hidden um, secretive enmity, you know, so it's hidden jealousies. So when you try to express that side, you're going to be met with some kind of opposition, but this opposition is not going to be in a direct way. You may be faced with rebuttals from people around you saying that, uh, are you sure you really want to do that? Or are you sure you really want to take that path when you try to express your authentic self? Because that's not how they perceive you to be, you know. Um, so that may be something that can be a constant theme coming up in your life. And I think the lesson here is to speak your truth, uh, be your authentic self, because the ones who love you, they're going to love you for who you are. And they're going to actually gravitate to your authentic self. They're not going to want to put you in a pedestal, on a pedestal or in a box, uh, because that's what they are comfortable with. So uh, that's an interesting way this energy can play out. Another way this can play out is, like I said, uh, because the sixth house rules routines, especially everyday routines, um, you may sometimes feel a little bit, and I don't want to say it in a bad way, you may feel a little bit like a hamster on a wheel sometimes, where sometimes you can get so caught up in the everyday grind, the everyday routine, that it can be a little bit stifling sometimes. And sometimes you may wonder, is this all there is to life? Like there's got to be more to life than just you know, the everyday stuff, because sometimes it takes up so much of your time just keeping up with the everyday routine uh, that it can be too overwhelming for you sometimes. And that's where that Pisces Virgo axis comes in, where you may want to the, want to escape, where you, you know, that's that 12th house Piscean escapism stereotype of Pisces, right? Where you, you don't like the daily grind, you don't want to be caught up in this. So sometimes that other side may creep in where you feel, like I said, this sort of hamster on a wheel kind of energy where you're just, you're trying so hard to keep up with the everyday routine because that's what you need to feel whole inside and be true to yourself. Uh, that sometimes you may feel it takes up so much of your energy and time that you want to escape from it. Um, and when you escape from it, whether that's through music or whether that's through some kind of, it depends on your 12th house, depends where Pisces is in your chart, but that would be typically the ways that you would want to escape from the everyday routine. Um, and when you do escape, you may have this sense of guilt because it almost feels like you're not supposed to do that, you know. Because the sun is so strongly connected with our identity, it's our core being, it's a very, very important part of who we are. And having that in the sixth house of everyday routine and tasks almost means like you may feel like there is this imaginary person sitting on your shoulder with like a stick in their hand and telling you like, you need to get this stuff done, you know. And when you don't do that, like because you're feeling trapped, because you're feeling like there's got to be more to life than this, when you feel that sort of, like I said, that hamster in the wheel energy, feeling trapped and like this is going nowhere kind of energy, when you want to escape in those times, you may feel guilty because there is this inner voice telling you that that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get this stuff done. Getting stuff done is very Virgo in. It's very sixth house energy. Um, so that can be a theme in your life when you do try to relax, when you do try to tap into that Pisces 12th house energy, that may feel like a guilty pleasure for you. And that there's almost this sense of guilt attached to escapism, to doing anything that you love doing, you know. Um, so that is something to be mindful of because it's, it's almost like a constant reminder that you need to remind yourself that it's okay to take a break, it's okay to escape, it's okay to do the things that you like, whether that's, you know, escaping through music, it's okay not to have to have to 
do things every day you know it's okay not to get stuff done i think it's important to remind yourself that of that because sixth house sons can often be very very harsh on themselves again that's that virgo energy that self critical energy i understand you guys want to be the best versions of yourself but at the same time it doesn't mean that you have to beat yourself up for it uh is what i would say so treat yourself gently treat yourself kindly uh be be sweet to yourself so that's the message for today for sun in the 6th house if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel if this resonated with you do drop a comment in the comment box i love reading your comments and i love knowing when my videos resonate with you so thanks a lot for watching and have a blessed day or night wherever you are and i'll see you in my next video bye guys